The Stream Deck is a handy kit, especially if you're looking to add more productivity and streaming controls to your desktop, but it can run into problems. My name is Adullah, you're watching Gandero Technology, and in this video, we're going to fix your Stream Deck issues. So the first thing that you have to do is make sure that the USB cable connection between your Stream Deck and your PC is fine. You can try replacing the cable if you can. You can try using another USB port or essentially anything that uh, remedies the connection. Once you're done checking that, we can now come to software solutions. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is resetting our Elgato software. Now you can do this by right clicking the Windows Start menu icon and then clicking on Task Manager to launch it. In here, uh, under Processes, I'm just going to sort them by name so that they don't move around. And now we're going to find Elgato in here. So as you can see, I have uh, Elgato Audio Control Server. And I should see Stream Deck if I go lower in the settings. Yeah, right here, Stream Deck. So what you're going to have to do is select whatever Elgato service that you're having problem with. In this case, the Stream Deck. Uh, but we're going to restart everything from Elgato just for good measure. So we're going to right click the Stream Deck, then click on End Task. And then we're going to do the same for the Elgato processes that we saw above, which are Audio Control Server and Audio Control Server Watcher. Right click, End Task. Once all of this is done, then you can get rid of this, come back to your window. And then you can start the Stream Deck software as you usually do. Let's go ahead and click that. Stream Deck will restart and you shouldn't be experiencing this problem anymore. If that doesn't work, you can go ahead and try looking for firmware updates because if the problem resides in your Stream Deck, this can uh, of course cause problems. So to do this, we are going to first launch the Stream Deck software by clicking on the icon. And then I'm going to click on the settings icon here, which says preferences. Uh, now you have two options. You can check for updates to the Elgato software, of course. And then if you click on the devices tab, go on update firmware. You can also check for a firmware update that may have been pending in your case, uh, as this was in mine. So click OK. Just make sure that your firmware and your Elgato software are up to date and that they're not facing any problems that previous version might have. The last step is rather simple. All you have to do is go to the start menu, click the power button and restart your PC. I know it sounds pretty basic, but restarting your PC can fix a lot of seemingly random issues with your computer. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.